right so at the moment when I go here into this surface and stand across the angle like this so this is the way I see these two legs are hanging above the air so how to fix this so let's take a look at the characteristic so in order to fix it what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna move down the character a little bit so that this uh, these two legs so yeah let let's move the character to the here so I'm gonna move down the character until the legs uh, the legs in the in this side hit the surface and then I'm gonna bend these legs these two legs which is submerged which are submerged on the ground uh, using some bone modification so let's see what bones I should rotate let's start with the right front leg maybe forearm with forearm it's at the moment it's 38 so if I increase this like this 38 so let's make it 58 that means I have added 20 degrees and then I'll add I'll subtract another 20 degrees from this bone so it should be minus 26 oh wait not that this way did it work somewhat yeah but uh, I'm not sure about the is this local or global where can I change it this is global this is okay okay let's make it local then yeah all right so i'll make the forearm 58 and this one is oh why does it change all of them oh not that not that not that too yeah I think I should change Y angle oh This is confusing. Why? So anyway, what I want to do is make this leg rotate this way. But the problem is, uh, I'm not sure that like I have to change all the components 
in the rotation in order to do that not just one element and actually I'm not sure why that is also let's reset this to the original value okay so actually it looks like we can't get away with only a with only one uh, uh, axis change this time so let's see let me take a screenshot here and let's keep it for future reference like this so if I rotate it 90 degrees this way is it 90 yeah let's rotate it like this now this is 180 let's compare this value with the previous screenshot this 93 became 180 97 became 14 all right uh, let's put these values into excel previous values are 93 let's roughly get the values no need to be exact and the new values are 180 minus 97 minus 86 all right now the difference is this one equals this one minus this one like this okay so let's test something using this one uh, let's undo this yeah let's define a public transform t what's this one our hand Our hand so I, I just want to test how to bend that bone 90 degrees so dr hand to local angular angles equals t r hand dot local angular angles plus new vector 3 let's use that value we just calculated 87 minus 83 and minus 80 oh wait we need to set the reference here okay it does bend but 
not exactly in the way I expected let's try a minus value here to see if that changed the direction oh it doesn't oddly Okay, so it's not working as I expected. What's wrong? Right, then let's see. Let's try another approach. Here, instead of this, uh, let's define. define uh, public vector 3 uh, angle change right now let's add that angle change here so since this is public I should be able to modify it in the runtime here like this so it doesn't have any change at the moment so if I change this it's bending that way okay and if I oh it's still the same man good not sure why but looks like that also bends in the same way Okay. right so anyway so if I use this 87 minus 83 and minus 80 here I think I can get some reason oh, what's seven in there what's the value 87 minus 83 80 minus 80 so it kind of bends in a natural way so maybe I can use that property so right uh, let's here let's add another reference for the four arm and then for the four arm as well let's do this Let's rename this to angle change uh, and and let's have another variable for the four message.
right now oh sorry forgot to set the reference right now let's stand in a position like this go to the scene view all right now for the angle change for uh, let's do it like this um, 45 degrees and then uh, relevant to that let's set 87 83 minus 80 sorry 87 minus 83 minus 80 it should go for the arm and for the forearm only minus 90 oh, wait no like this so now as you can see it has a kind of natural bend well not natural at all but uh, reasonable because i have managed to lift the hand above the ground like this see but still it's not good enough okay okay so right how do we do this in the runtime so that's the next problem we have to figure out and also we should do this for all four logs as well anyway so this has taken around 20 minutes now so I'll stop at this point for now and in the next episode let's see let's try to figure out how to do this in a, in the runtime and make it more dynamic right so the project files will be available here in the patreon page if you would like to support my work you can get the membership there and thanks for watching and also yeah this episode is sponsored by this generous patron Thank you very much for your support and see you in another episode. Goodbye.